Hi guys, it's Josh Stern and today I want to talk to you about 10 must-dos to get your home sold this year. So recognize first of all that every market is different and all markets are driven by supply and demand. So it's important to get a good absorption rate done in your area to guide you to the best possible pricing and check out the competition. There are some things that you can do to make sure that your home stands out before you go on the market. So let's talk honeydews. First on that list, new paint. Paint the whole house if it needs it or just the trim, the shutters and the door to freshen up. Since the first time you sell a home, you're actually selling it to a buyer who's looking online in a two-dimensional world, you'll want to ensure continuity and colors. Homes that look like somebody spilled a box of fruity pebbles on the wall are much tougher to sell that first time around. Next, clean the entryway. Sweep or pressure wash the front walk and the porch. Polish the outdoor metalwork. Clean the windows. Clean the glass. Replace any burnt out bulbs uh, inside and outside. And if you can, add planters, uh, planters with flowers. Next, you're going to need to devise a marketing plan that counts. You're going to need a strong strategy to get a property sold for top dollar. Think of it this way. You've got to cast the broadest net possible to attract the most amount of buyers in the least amount of time to ensure that your home gets sold for the most amount of money. A great strategy is an investment to you. It ensures that money is not left on the table. Next. Interview real estate agents. If you're interested in using an agent, interview several about listing your home. Ask them for their advice. Ask them what they would highlight about your home. Ask them where the buyers would likely come from. Ask them how many homes they've sold in your neighborhood. Or ask me for an additional list of the top 10 things you should ask all of these agents before you hire one. Send me an email, give me a call, I'll get back to you pretty quickly, trust me. Next, you gotta set a price. And remember, those absorption rates, right? You want to look at homes that have actually sold in the past 90 days and compare your home uh, to theirs. They need to be similar in your built, lot size, square footage, and style, but you also want to look at the competition in the area, other homes that are active and buyers would be looking at, as well as your own home. And additionally, look at homes that are pending and see how long they were on the market prior to the offer being accepted. A great agent's going to bring all of this information for you to review. And here's something you ought to know, get rid of the junk. I know you know that. Look at it this way. If you're going to move anyway, why not get a head start getting rid of the things that you don't need and packing up the excess that doesn't help the home stand out? Also, remove everything that isn't decorative from all of the flat surfaces in your home. Remember that flat surfaces are everywhere. They're countertops, they're nightstands, they're refrigerators, they're the top of cabinets, they're bookshelves, they're desks, the list goes on. Finally, Stay on top of the market. You've got to be aware of market changes. Stay on top of what's happening with mortgages, uh, finance rates, and keep looking at the comps and see trends before they actually happen. The real estate market can and will change quickly, so you want to be out in front of these changes with your agent. And while you're at it, if you'd like to find out your home's current value for free, see the link at the top of this site that says free home value report. And if you have any additional questions or would like that list, call me or email me. We're happy to send it out.